I, I have to confess, first of all, to a serious fanboy crush. Oh, on me? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, oh, her. Oh, right. Yes, on you. Oh, right. Oh, oh my God. Well, this cannot be the first time that you've heard this. I just, um, oh, I'm ridiculous when it comes to things of this. I just, <laughs> I just wish I had a skirt on and I could just <laughs> do that. Not to you embarrass you. you. No, yeah, yeah, no, uh, feel free. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's very kind and uh, <laughs> blushing. Thank you very much. Yeah. And, and I'm sure, even more specifically, <laughs> the, the gap. Oh, yes. Yeah, the, yes. We guys love the gap, yeah? Well, apparently so. I mean, uh, it's, you know, don't, don't lock it until you kissed it. That's what I say. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's strange because obviously all my life I'm who I am and this yeah. is how I am. Yeah. And uh, and then suddenly I start doing a program and then people are saying, have you noticed she's got a gap in her teeth? And I'm like, who? Who does? What does it mean? What does it mean? Oh, this! Oh, yeah, yeah, it's really nice. And uh, But as an actress, was it something that you sort of had to disguise or no, explain? Or? No, not at all. Yeah. It's kind of really bizarre. And people are kind of really, people are quite obsessed with it. Oh, kind yeah. Of love it. Yeah. And, um... <laughs> And they're yeah, probably I'm happy a little, with it. They, well, yeah, <laughs> but they're, they're probably a little more overt about it yeah. here. Is this your first time in the states? Uh, no, in Los Angeles oh. it is. Yeah. Um, well, that's I'm, not even really the states. That's <laughs> just a whole other planet. Oh, okay. yes, it is. <laughs> Do you know it's very bizarre because um, I've, I've really settled in much better than I ever expected. Mm. Um, and do you know why I think that is? I think it's because I've I've come here, I've moved my family here to do a job. Mm. So. It kind of made the decision for me. Yeah. So I'm here. I'm here for a purpose, and uh, I'm going to work really hard. The people I've met so far have been, I can't tell you, incredibly mm. beautiful and loving yeah. and welcoming, and, yeah. and I'm, I'm having a really nice time. Yeah. So now, the, the series was, the, the Cardiff setting was so specific in right. the series and so much a part of the series one of the characters yeah. um and, and uh i'm wondering a because you were actually shooting there what was it a real point of pride in wales that you know this oh. was something we own yeah can you even imagine how proud i was I, i'm guessing yeah. i mean i I'm proudest woman in, in the uk i was just so proud because it's not it you very rarely hear a welsh accent mm -hmm. they didn't try to posh you up at all no not at all not at all and uh you know Russell wanted to make this program based in Wales. We're nowhere else. We're in Wales. We're in Cardiff, mm -hmm. and this is where this action is happening. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so much that we have to offer. As you said, you, you know, there's the oceans, the mountains. You, it's it's just got the landscape. It's got great, humorous people, and mm -hmm. and so many stories to be told in history. Mm -hmm. yeah. So to have it based there, and to, to film there for you know the three four years that we were doing, and to come to LA. And to, ma to be making it here. And we're yeah. also filming two weeks in Cardiff at the end of the month. Um, I just feel so proud. Honestly, you can hear, probably hear my heart beat. I'm mm. so pa passionate about it. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. Yeah. You know, I have people say to me, um, even since I've been out here, you know, Cardiff looks beautiful, Wales looks beautiful. Well, they wouldn't have seen it unless we, you know, torture was being shown. Yeah, to yeah. So, uh, massively proud. Yeah. I'm terribly sorry. I give very long, long answers to, <laughs> no, no, to this. This is not a problem. The fact that that any one of you could get whacked at any minute yeah. <laughs> it gives it, as Russell was saying, this 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 urgency and this dynamic and this you don't know what's going to happen. Um, but at what point did you find out that basically everyone was going to die <laughs> except for you and John? Well, uh, not until the end. Really? You get a you get a script through the door and you literally open it up and you go. Am I hank or am I, you know, um, and we found out about the two characters, to uh, Tosh and uh, Owen, uh, we had a meeting and they, t they obviously told them separately and then they came to tell us and it's, you're losing two legendary, fabulously constructed characters, mm -hmm. but you know, we were also losing two really great, great teammates and two great friends. Mm -hmm. You know, and that takes a lot of adjusting when you're used to being a tight unit, and then all of a sudden, there's three of you. 
Yeah. And it was a very much an ensemble effort, and the, the interconnections with the oh, characters, absolutely. particularly that, that one of the Sopranos actors, and yeah. when they found out somebody was going to get whacked, they yeah. had this tradition where they would go out and have this dinner. And, oh, and, that's nice. Um, uh, but it must be wrenching, because you were such a tight group. And, absolutely. And again, working in that sort of isolation. Of, yeah, of, and then obviously with Children of Earth, when it happened with Yanto, yeah. it's kind of... It, it's something that it's something that happens within the organisation of Torchwood. Mm -hmm. You're going to die young. That's what happens to mm -hmm. you. Otherwise, you're Captain Jack Harkness. Yeah. You are not. You know the beauty of it is that we're all humans and we all hurt and we all bleed and we all die. Mm -hmm. So, the danger is is precisely that: is that you're taking your life in your own hands every single day you walk out that door. You might mm -hmm. not come back. And that's, that's a very courageous and attractive mm -hmm. quality this show has, I think. Yeah. And, and unlike a lot of science fiction, where it's like Star Trek, you know Captain Picard is not going to die. Yeah. Uh, so the, 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 obviously the, the stakes are that much higher, but you're dealing with such surreal things in such a real context. And yes. I think that's a lot of the appeal of the show. Oh, totally. I know. There's a pterodactyl yes. flying around. I know. <laughs> I know. Mavanry. I know. Um, it's bizarre because... Russell does this wonderful mix of sci-fi and um, domestic drama, and you one minute you th you think you're watching a you know a real hardcore thriller, and then you then you're watching E.T. Mm -hmm. and then you're watching you know Buffy, and then you're watching uh, a beautiful two-hander, mm -hmm. and he's he's thrown eight or nine ingredients into one pot, mm -hmm. and that hasn't been done. Yeah. That hasn't been done. And, and just the balance of, of drama and comedy. Yeah. And, and, and the extremes of drama and oh, comedy. Yeah. Um, and the comedy normally comes out, which I, I love about this show, the comedy normally comes out of tragedy. Mm -hmm. And that's a very real thing. Sure. It always comes from somewhere very real. And that's the funniest moments when it sure. comes from somewhere real or somewhere, you know, something tragic. There's a laugh. Mm -hmm. And it pulls you back. Mm -hmm. So it keeps pulling you, um, you know, bringing you forward and pulling you back. And it was never like playing the same character. You know, every season she was a different person because she'd have to evolve with that organisation. Mm -hmm. Every day she was seeing something new. Every day she was doing something new. Every day she was being terrified, thrilled. She'd fall in love every day. She'd hate every day. And she changed colour every day. Mm -hmm. So she was never the same person. So that excitement became a, became a drag. Mm -hmm. And that's how she lives her life. So for the, for me to play a character like Ray Cooper is exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> okay, she is so exhausting. It's painful <laughs> because of all the, you know. But it's my God. It's the best thing in the world. Yeah. Now, did you think that was it? I mean, I got the sense from, from Russell, and I think I talked to him around the time, that, that he pretty much put it to bed. I know when something comes to an end, and I know when it's time to leave something be, and I know when it's, it, sometimes it's good to leave something on the, on the highest it can possibly go. Never felt like that. Mm -hmm. I knew this was going to go on somewhere else, just because of the, the response. Yeah. The response was massive, yeah. and um, fans were incredible. I mean, incredible. The way they embraced it oh, here. unbelievable. It could be set anywhere. That's yes. the thing. Yes. You know, it's it's one of the. It's not set in a particular place or a particular time. Mm -hmm. It's not limited to that. Absolutely, yeah. there's no limitations. You know, within you know, obviously within certain mm. realms of you know areas, but it's it's it can be anywhere. We can take it anywhere. Yeah. And and yes, it's been made in America, but there's a huge UK influence in it. There's a huge Welsh influence in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's um it's been faithful to its roots. Yeah, you know. And it would, if it wasn't, it wouldn't be what it is. Um, can you see it uh, carrying on past this point? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I. Can. You, do you feel yet that it's? No, no, I, I do. It's a. I'm I'm not ready to leave leave here go yet, yeah. and I'm not. This for me is the start of a whole new show, a mm. whole new torch with a whole new concept, and I'm so excited. It's going to be fantastic.